All right, so it's time for me to jump on the stem separation bandwagon like everybody else. So a lot of these dolls are actually having an option to use stem separation inside them. And that goes for FL Studio, Waveform 12.5, even BandLab has it right now. So we're waiting for the next doll to come out and actually have these stem separations. So I wanted to actually do a comparison, seeing that I have all three of these right now, and I might even throw in Serato sample if it feels cool. But yeah, yo, what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys, thank you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are new here, make sure you leave below in the comment section. I'm new here. All right, so with that being said, we will be going over some of the different stem separations in all these dolls. Uh, but first, let's hear a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. DistroKid, we already know, it's the best way to get your music on all these streaming platforms, whether that's Apple, Tidal, Amazon, Spotify, and even Instagram. Really, really great program to actually use. If you actually use the tools that they have inside there, it'll definitely benefit you for the next year that's coming up. We know we've heard a lot of things about all these different uh, distributors on there doing different things and different thresholds. But with DistroKid, the tools that they give you in there and the splits options that they give in here, the hyperlinks that they have, you should be able to actually definitely build your fan base with these tools that they give you inside of DistroKid. So I don't know what people are waiting for. You should definitely join DistroKid. I have a link below in the description that you can get 7% off of your first year with DistroKid. I see you there, man. All right, so the first doll I wanna try out is Traction Waveform. It's a pretty cool doll. It has a lot of nice features in there. Um, I haven't dove deep enough into the doll to really do a whole bunch of videos on it, but I'm gonna show you how to do the stem separation inside here, and we're actually gonna compare it to FL Studio and BandLab. So the song I'm gonna choose is one of my own songs that I have, so I'm gonna drag and drop it into the doll, and then we can get started. All right, so I just dropped the track inside of Traction Waveform, and this song is called Definition of a Monster. It is on all streaming platforms. If you want to definitely check it out, check it out. Just look up x.e.l.ohh on any of the major platforms, and you should be able to find this track on there. All right, so here's what it sounds like. All right, so just a couple of uh, things. So basically what you wanna do is you right click on here, right? And it'll give you an option that says split to stem. You have to have the full version or the pro version of this, or you can just buy it separately uh, from Traction Waveform, but um, I do have the pro version, so I'm able to actually do this. So you have to have the pro version in order to do this. So I'm gonna split to stems. And then it's gonna ask me, what do I want? And it gives you an option to do the drums, vocals, bass, or other. So if you hit the little drop or just click on it, it'll give you an option just to extract whatever you want, right? So um, I'm gonna do all four and I'm gonna hit separate. All right, so it's finally done. It took a little while for it to actually complete the stems. But as you see, they are now separated. So I'm kind of solo them and see what we have here. So I think the first one is the bass. This one is the drums. This one is other, and this one is the vocals at the bottom. So we have the vocals at the bottom. Uh, so let's hear how it did with the bass. Add on the drums. The 
cause from fable. Kill you like Freddy Krueger, put my claws in your navel. I'm Swamp Thing, kill him off, fing, fang, foom. You shook like Medusa just walked in the room. I'm the Loch Ness, Bigfoot, that werewolf from London. The vampire sucking your blood like it's nothing. I'm Strike from Gremlins, Chucky from Child's Play. I bite like Kojo, me mug like Clayface. Everything else sounds pretty cool. The vocals have like a lot of little elements in them still, but you know, this is the still the beginning of stem separation. So there will be a couple of little infractions and things like that inside of the, the vocals uh, and mostly inside of the, the sounds usually as well. But the drums sound pretty good. Uh, the bass sounds good. So let's move to another DAW and check and see how those sound. All right, so here we are in FL Studio. And I'm gonna drag in that same track. All right, I'm just gonna put it on song mode so you can hear it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so usually in FL, what you wanna do, you go up to this little, I guess, little wave thing up here, right next to the name of the sample. You click on that, and it gives you an option here that says extract stems from sample, right? And now you have an option to do the drums, instrument, bass, and vocals, just like you did inside of Traction Waveform. I'm gonna actually just set it how it is and just extract it. I'm gonna extract all four of them. And we'll see how long FL actually takes to, uh, to process it. All right, so here we go. FL has just finished doing the stems. Uh, it actually looks really clean, you know, like it looks like it might be pretty good. So let's check it out and kind of see what um, it actually captures. So this is the instruments. This is the bass. These are the drums up here and down here is the vocals. So um, let's see how it did. So I'm gonna kind of solo them and uh, see. So let's start, start with the bass like we did on the other one. Start with the drums. Oh. You can hear some of the hi-hats in there and the drums, but it sounds pretty good. Medusa just walked in the room. I'm the Loch Ness, Bigfoot, the werewolf from London. The vampire sucking your blood like it's nothing. I'm Strike from Gremlins, Chucky from Child's Play. I bite like Kojo, me mug like Clayface. Don't go into the closet, cause I'm the boogeyman. I'm Doomsday, bringing the death for Superman. And I see cats out there posting their roadblocks, but you forgot. Nothing can stop the juggernaut. See, I'm Hellboy, Pumpkinhead, Mumra from Thundercats, a Cyclops, or one not. Man, would you look at that? Gargo, a Minotaur, climbing with Griffiths, the state puff from Ghostbusters, climbing the building. Why you act like y'all ain't heard some before? Yeah, I really like uh, the way these stem separations do sound. It actually sounds really good, yo. FL, man. FL, you're doing some good, some good work, man, on the low. So um, let's try this with another sampler. I'm gonna put in, uh, I'm gonna add in the instrument and let's go to Serato sample. All right, so here we are, Serato sample. It says it's still loading. And I'm gonna drag the same exact file into Serato sample. All right, so here we have, have it inside Serato sample. I'm just gonna kind of play it. Yeah. All right, so it's going by the tempo of the track and let's not sync it. So the difference like with Serato sample, I believe it like almost automatically kind of does it. So if I take away the vocals, Nope. 
that you don't see Cause bad things happen when you I'm all the things you want I'm that They chasing Mr. Anderson Right, so it kind of does it on its own. Like there's not like a, a timing really for it. So it, now it's uh, setting up like the bass, the drums. So all of them are now kind of set up on here. I'm gonna start it back from the beginning. Uh, let's start with the bass like we did on the other ones. Let's add some drums. If I could capture a little bit more of the highs inside the drums, It's like it sounds like it's kind of filtering out the sounds a little bit. Bite like cold show, me one like play face. Don't go into the closet, cause I'm the booking man of doomsday. Bring yeah. the death vocals so definitely bad. wouldn't need some work. Cats out there posting they roadblocks, but you forgot. Nothing can stop the juggernaut. See, I'm Hellboy, Pumpkin Head, Mum Rock from Thundercats, the Cyclops, or one not. Man, would you look at that? Gargo or Minotaur. Right? And like the, the only kind of difference in using Serato sample and using the other ones is that you don't actually get to pull the stem separations. At least I'm not sure how to do it if there is a way. So like you would have to kind of like take them out individually and kind of record them in order to actually get that stem, right? But uh, the difference is Serato gives you an option to automatically start chopping up your samples. You don't have to, uh, you know, put it into another sampler. You can just automatically just start chopping right from here. Uh, or if you already did lay down some chops and you just and you say, you know what, I don't want those drums in there. I want to add my own drums. You can always take the drums out, take the vocals out. So whatever you want to take out, you can kind of take out a little bit easier with Serato sample without doing all the other uh, modifications. But yeah, so that one Serato sample so far. Let me know what you guys think below in the comment section. Uh, which one so far do you think is the best one? So let's move on to our last one for the day, and that's gonna be BandLab. All right, so I'm on my BandLab website. If you haven't already, definitely join me on BandLab. Subscribe to your boy on BandLab. I'm gonna try to start putting a little bit more effort into being on BandLab on the website as well. So uh, you just hit on this little, uh, I guess, button here. And there's an option that says Splitter. It says New, click on that. And basically you just import your song in here. So let me import it. And just drop it in there and it's gonna upload it. Definition of a monster. And it tells you the time on this one, which is a little bit better than the other ones. They don't really, the other ones don't really tell you how long it's gonna take. This one says less than a minute, 61%. So it's moving kind of kind of quick. All right, so here is what it'll look like. So basically you have the whole thing. So I can mute the vocals. It sounds like it's still bleeding a lot of the vocals into it, uh, which you know, it's I guess it's okay. And you can actually open it in in the studio. You can download the stems if you wanted to as well. Uh, you could do a loop on here to kind of loop a section if you wanted to. 
Um, so yeah, I think this one is actually pretty cool as well. It's guesstimating that it's 89 beats per minute. I believe it's 90 though, uh, which is perfectly fine. So, so let's do, let's do just the bass. As you see, it gives it like a hollower bass than any of the other ones. The drums are okay. As you can hear some of the vocals bleeding over into the track. And it's giving like a little airy kind of sound on there as well. It's nothing. I'm straight from Gremlins. Chucky from Child's Play. I bite like cool Joe. Me and my face. Don't go into the closet. You can hear like the percussion in there. Bringing the death for Superman. And I see cats out there posting their roadblocks, but you forgot. Nothing can stop them. Uh, I think it's a little better than Serato samples though, for at least the vocal part. But um, let me know guys, what do you guys think about these stem separations in these DAWs? Like I said, you can open this up in studio. So if I go open this in studio, it should open it up by processing it. Uh, we'll see how long that takes. All right, so here is BandLab. I have a studio session open for the track itself. And as you see, the stem separations are here. All right, so this is the stem separation inside of BandLab. As you see, it's pretty easy to kind of just do that. Drop your sample in there. You can even create a session straight from there or just download those samples straight from BandLab and it's absolutely free. So I don't think it gets much better than that one, but um, you know, they have other uh, online programs out there that can do this stem separation. I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse of the ones that I actually have and actually used uh, let me know below in the comments, which one do you think won? Do you think it was Traction Waveform, FL Studio, Serato Sample, or maybe even BandLab? Let me know below in the comment section. All right, and with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this one. Make sure you are liking and subscribing to the channel. This will probably be the last video for the year. I was going to do some more wave traction form, but I was running into a couple of issues using it, uh, even use it on the live and a couple people saw the issues I was having or running into with it, but we shall see. But with that being said, thank you guys, like I said, very much for stopping by the channel. And once again, this your boy, x.e.l.o. Till next time, people. Peace.